Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I curl my hair with the wand. So let's go ahead and get right into so first, it. First, I went ahead and sprayed my whole head with this heat protectant. This is just the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This is just what it looks like. And so I just sprayed this all over my head and then I make sure to let it dry. I'm just going to brush my hair with this. Um, it's like the off-brand Tangle Teaser. This one is by Goody. I think it's like seven bucks as opposed to like 15. I'm going to go ahead and spray my hair with this Bertiste Dry Shampoo. This is in the Floral and Flirty Blush Scent, which I don't know how I think, feel about it. But I am on um, second day hair today, so I need some dry shampoo. I don't know what it is, but like whenever I color my hair, oh yeah, that's another thing I failed to talk about. Um, I did dye my hair. It is a lot darker than what it has ever been. This is like a brown. This was by complete accident. And I didn't mean to um, <laughs> dye it this dark. But, you know, that's what happened. Anyway, and so yeah, it's super dark. Like super, super dark. Um, but yeah, I actually, I actually really like it. But anyway, moving on. Um, I definitely need to... Uh, Spray my hair with dry shampoo because when I color my hair, my hair is like greasy. Like it gets so greasy after I color it. I don't know what it is. Like for weeks after I color it, it's like it gets so much greasier. And I do have some dry shampoo in there, but I'll brush that out when I'm moving on to that section. Okay. And so I have in my bathroom the trifle mirrors. Um, they're just like three mirrors and you can like move them so that you can, you know, see every section of your hair. And so that makes it super, super easy, especially if you have like short hair, because I know it is so hard to see like those back pieces because my hair is so stinking short. And so this is the wand that I'm going to be using. This is just by Remington. I think I got this for like $16 off of the Walmart website. Um, I know my Walmart has these for like $16 and so they're super cheap and it does the trick. Um, I go ahead and put mine on 356 degrees. You can get it higher. I think this is more like the lower temperatures. And so what I do is I break my hair up into um, a couple different sections. I think I'm going to break it up into four sections this time just because my bang area is weird. And so I go ahead and just hold it like this. And then I just wrap my hair around it and leave it out a little bit and then I maybe hold it for like five seconds and that does the trick like that and so you get a curl like that and then moving on to the next section my hair did used to be cut in an A well actually it's still kind of cutting like that um I got my hair all cut off um like a year ago I believe and then A-line bob and um so the small so the back of my hair is still just a little bit shorter because I did get it cut so it wasn't so blunt any longer because it was um the way it was growing out it was very very blunt like you could tell that it was still an A-line bob and I just didn't like the way it looked because with my hair growing out and so I did get it cut a little bit so you can't tell as much but it is still, um, the back is still just a little bit, ow, the back is still a little bit, um, shorter than, like, my front. It's not, like, all one length. And so I just wrap it around like that. And I get those kind of curls. So, I'll probably speed this up. I don't know if I'll add music to it, but I'll definitely probably speed it up. Usually, I would wait until I've done all my makeup. Except for like um, my mascara, because I always like to do that like right before I leave the house um, to do my hair. But today you're getting the bare face. And that, let me tell you, I'm looking scary. Just ignore that, <laughs> please. Okay. So the trifold mirrors are just way easier because right now I can see what I'm doing behind my back like this and I can make sure that I'm not leaving any sections out so like whenever I go to my boyfriend's house um 
he doesn't have like the trifold mirrors and so because my hair is like so short in the very back because of that like a-line bob um it is so hard to like make sure that i get all of the pieces curled because you can't really see so i usually just um take like a mirror like maybe um like a mirror from like my palette or something and um i just hold it up behind me so that i can make sure that i see everything that's in the back so that's what i recommend doing if you don't have like a trifold mirror <sighs> because i don't know why i'm out of breath i'm freaking out of breath um because that will make sure that you like can make sure that you can get all your hairs because you can okay see. so now that i'm done with that first section i will which actually no i'm not done because this piece isn't curled it snuck past me but once i am done with this section like now i will go ahead and just undo this and take down the next section which yeah i'm gonna break it up into four sections because like um they're not like bangs but like my the hair in front of my face is like so high maintenance and it needs to have a section of itself because it won't work if it's mixed in with like the other section i know my hair is so dumb my hair is so weird sometimes but whatever and I, another thing I didn't mention is the way I curl. I just curl all of my hair away from my face. Like every single piece. I do like this wand, but I wish instead of it being like um, smaller at the bottom and like fatter at the top, like how it is like this. Um, I wish it was just all one size because I don't really like that. I don't know. It makes the curls look different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe it's just. I'm crazy and I can just notice it, but I do. Okay. And so just moving on, I literally this is just just wrap it around and again I curl it away from my face on both sides, like pretty easy. I do like the wand like way better than like anything else I've used like I don't like using like a regular curling iron with a um with like a clamp on it I don't know why but for some reason it feels so difficult for me to do and then I don't like really I really don't like using my straightener I know I'll sometimes do it but I'm not really like a huge fan of using my straightener I don't know I don't really like it feels weird holding my it just feels weird in my hand. I don't know. And then some pieces I'll hold for a little bit longer. Just so that it gives, like, I don't know, a different look. So it looks more natural. All natural. And then there's some pieces that like literally just don't want to curl. They're just like, nope, we're gonna stay straight. My hair is very picky. Like sometimes it'll do like exactly what I want it to do. And then other times it's like, nah, mm -mm. not today. Um, another thing about my hair is uh, it works best if it's clean. I know a lot of people, like a lot of people's hairs will work best if it's like um, a day or two dirty um, but my hair just works way better if I've like just washed it and blow dried it I don't know why like I don't know why but my hair just works better if it's like clean I don't know why but it just does cuz I know like for like proms and everything they're always like, don't wash your hair before like you get your hair done because it doesn't want to hold. Mine holds way ten times better if it's clean. That's just my hair. Like it doesn't like to hold if it's um, dirty. And then I'm going to take a, another layer down and then I'll have one more layer to go after this because this is kind of like... Not my bangs, but this would be if I had like 
short hair this is what my bangs would be this is kind of like what frames my face and so it has to have its own section or else it like doesn't want to curl correctly so i just know my hair and then so i just brush it all out again really get that dry shampoo And then I'll start on this section. And I just do it the same way. And I know this wand comes with a glove, but I don't use it. And so I, let, again, just curl it away from my face. I'll link this um, wand down below if ow, if um, I can find it. I'll link it down below so that if you guys want to get it, you can. Because it is like a pretty cheap wand and, I mean, it does the trick. Like it, it does, I mean, it curls your hair. I definitely should have put some makeup on for this because I look scary. Scary. Okay. And so that is that section. And then the very last section, which is this would be like kind of like my bang area. This is kind of like what frames my face. So just brush it out and then separate it into how it needs to be separated. And then in my bang area, I always start out from like the back and I just do it the same way I do it away from my face and just twist it hold it like that and then That's just how I want to do it. I just start from behind. I don't know why, but I just do. I don't know. I just always start from behind. Oh, and if you guys can tell my shirt, it does say I got crabs from Dick's Last Resort. Um, in one of my makeup tutorials, I'm wearing this shirt because I just completely forgot to change my shirt. And one of my subscribers noticed. So, I'm wearing it for you, girlfriend. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize I was wearing it in my last tutorial. In one of them, I don't remember which one it was. And so she commented about it. So yeah, I'm wearing it for you. Cause I went there on vacation this summer. So this is like my bangs, this would be my bangs if like it was cut short. And so I just do it the exact same way. I don't start from like the very root, um, as you can like kind of see. And then like what I kind of do is, cause this hair is kind of awkward and it sets weird. So what I do is I just kind of like um, blend it in with this piece, with like these pieces here. I'm just kind of blend it in with it. And then sometimes I may have to go back and fix this section. Just because, like I said, it's high maintenance. This is, like, the worst piece. It, like, never wants to do what I want it to do. And it, like, sets so weird. Like that. So just do it like that. And release it and then this part right here I may have to like 
because this is shorter. I have to like go back and do it like that because the way it kind of, kind of blends. Because these are kind of like my baby hairs right here. So sometimes I have to kind of make them like blend in with the rest of my hair. So it kind of gets wavy. <laughs> like that. And then what I do is I tip my head under. And I literally just kind of wrap it up and like run my fingers through it. Cause I just like my hair messy. Like I don't like it like, I don't know. I just don't like it like all perfect. I like my curls kind of messy. So I'll go through and like fix them any way I want to fix them and then after I've run my fingers through it and fixed it the way I want this hairspray this is the freeze it hair care color protection flexible hold brushable hairspray I have to get the brushable hairspray because I don't like my hair like not moving I want it to like I don't know I want it to still look like natural hair I want to like when I do this, I want my hair to be able to move instead of like just setting in place. So I get the brushable hole, like the brushable kind, just so that it actually, you know, kind of looks the way I want it to look. And so I have these baby hairs right here. So I have to fix them the way I want them to lay on my head so that they don't poke out. And then I just spray my whole entire head. And then because this piece, like this hair over here is so flat, after it dries, I will just kind of hold this up. Just to kind of give it some volume because this side is so much flatter. <laughs> because this side is so much flatter than this side. So I like to give it a little bit of volume. Like that. And so, yeah, this is kind of the way I curl it. Um, I am going to go do my makeup and I will be right back. Just so that you can kind of see it in different lighting and um, with my makeup done. Because that makes a world of difference, girlfriend. So, let me tell you. So, I will be right This back. is what my hair looks like with, you know, my makeup on and in a little bit of a different of a lighting. Um, it's just, you know, it's curly. I really like the way that this looks. Um, I just like it. I just like my hair curly. I like my hair better curly than straight. I just, I feel so weird with straight hair. So I curl it like most often or it's up in a ponytail. It's either curl or up in a ponytail. One or the other. Um, so yeah, this is just what the, you know, finished hair looks like. Um, um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked this hair tutorial and I hope you guys, I hope I wasn't too weird and awkward saying how I do it um I really really just wanted to show you guys how I do my hair like this um so yeah I hope you guys liked the video and I hope I explained everything correctly and thank you guys so so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you do like hair tutorials and if you would like to see more of them and please subscribe to my channel thank you guys so so much and I hope you guys have a fantastic day bye guys